Hey guys, what is up? Lemon Slush here. Wanted to do a quick vid on a couple of new new knives I got and show you some knives that I made a couple modifications to. Um, let's start off. This is uh, this was a yellow Spartaco Dragonfly, and I tried to make it blue, so I used blue rit dye because I swore I saw a post someplace where they used blue dye. Logically, when you mix blue with yellow, you get green, and uh, I don't know, like a goof, I dyed it and it turned out some cool like toxic green color and for some reason I thought hey let's just keep leaving it in there it'll turn blue and you know it's green so uh, it looks just like a ZDP uh, dragonfly <laughs> so if you've ever wanted a ZDP uh, FRN handle scale but you want the H1 steel blue rit dye is the way to go um, I also tried throwing the G10 and the blue rit dye. Didn't take well. I think the rit dye had to have been hotter or something, like, because it didn't take well at all. You can kind of see the translucent part here, that it's a tinge, tiny bit blue, but not so much. I added a uh, wave to it, and I wanted the wave to be uh, larger, and I mimicked a bottle opener when I did it. So this thing is a pretty decent bottle opener. Leave it at the bar, um, I suppose, but works great. And as, as a side note, I just got a Yojimbo and I just returned it as well because of the main reason is the lock, the compression lock on the Yojimbo. It's further down right here. So when you hold the para, it's just a little bit higher. And on the Yojimbo, it's like right in this area. And it pinched my hand a bunch. Um, I don't know what it is with me and getting knives that uh, hurt me, you know, um, but I was, I was really bummed because I wanted to keep it and uh the darn thing just it just it just, it just i just wasn't meant to be so to speak this is a 560 in another video i showed that i uh, anodized it and i wasn't entirely happy with it so i took the anno off and then i rebuffed the whole thing so not just the high spots i did the whole thing and i tried to make it as shiny as possible titanium is really hard to get uh to buff to buff bright like the mirror polish but the lighter the lighter and the shinier the metal the more colorful your anodization is going to be uh, when you get it on there. So uh, this is much brighter, much more iridescent, and the blues and the purples, and even a little bit of gold copper color. It's really fun now. So um, the screws I also uh, I also polished. Not a ton of light in here, unfortunately, so it kind of looks black. But uh, I did. I took a took the black off and I polished them. So pretty happy with that. Came out. This I'll actually probably keep. Uh, keep it like that. Um, this is my Medford Praetorian G, and I wanted one of these for a while, and I decided on the G specifically because of the G10 slab here. It's about two ounces lighter than the T, and for such a big knife, I figured it was going to be a task alone to carry something this large, and I knew if it was too heavy, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't take it with me. Um, but pretty happy with it. It is decent to carry, even though it is rather large. I want to give you a size comparison. Here's a... There's a bill and the knife on top of it. So, I mean, it is it is not a small knife by any stretch, but relatively thin for how uh, wide and tall it is. It is a two-handed knife, if you're not familiar with Medford's. They say you can open them one-handed after it breaks in. And again, this one's, this one's very new, so it's really stiff. Um, but if you put your thumb in the bottom of the fuller and you push it out and then like that, you can you can get it. I'm hoping it'll break in over time, but pot clip's great on it. The, this glass breaker is really cool, and it doesn't uh, jab into me, so that's that's really nice. And uh, last but not least, this is uh, Victorinox Farmer, the Alox, uh, and I wanted the Farmer because it has this cool, cool saw blade here to uh, to go hiking with. Um, you usually use like a Leatherman Wave, and this has a saw blade now, so this will take the place of the uh, Leatherman, save me some weight, and uh, an excuse to buy another knife. So we all love those. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, I, I, uh, I uh, you know, not a knife smith by any stretch of the imagination, so um, not these these things aren't perfect. Um, and if uh, you know, you you just curious about you know how I did the anodization, let me know. I'll try to try to uh, reply best I can. 
Uh, I do have a couple more knives coming in the mail, so I'll try to get a video up on those uh, when they come in. But uh hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching the video, and have a good day.